again with another one just for y'all. Gonna give y'all two today, so let's hop right in. When the dark web revealed the truth, he stumbled across a creepy hole that was covered up in the middle of the desert in an unknown location. So he decided to uncover it and have a look what's down the dark hole. After enhancing the brightness, we can see what potentially looks like many pairs of glowing eyes lurking at the bottom of the dark hole. Hey, toss him a flare. They give him some kind of light. Michael Jackson was on Face the Nation. Now, to be clear, this wasn't video of Michael Jackson performing his hit songs in the 1990s. This appeared to be a living version of the international pop star that news reports claim died of a drug OD more than a dozen years ago. And yet, despite those claims, there he was, fully, undeniably Michael Jackson, talking on television. How can that be? Honestly, we have no idea. We're not theologians here. This is merely a news program. We can only show you what we saw. Here it is. There's nothing more important for us to do than protect our Constitution and our democracy. What the Republicans are doing across the country is really a, a legislative continu continuation of what they did on January 6th, which is to undermine our democracy. See, where was Michael he? Jackson? Are they trying to say she was Michael Jackson? Let me know down in the comments. In the short clip, a rancher is viewing footage from a CCTV camera when he notices something very peculiar. The rancher says he was woken up late at night after hearing a loud noise coming from one of the corrals. He promptly rushed over to see what had caused the noise and saw that the animal pen had been destroyed. Confused as to how this happened, he looked over at the footage from his security camera and was shocked by what he saw. His animals can be seen trampling over the fence as if running away from something. He then looks further back into the footage to see how this happened, but what he sees terrifies him. Take a look. A small, shadow-like figure can be seen moving inside the pen, causing the animals to freak out. It seems that whatever this was, was unfamiliar to the livestock, and thus causing them to panic. Now where this video came from is unknown, but the footage itself is a mystery. What could possibly have frightened the animals so badly that they had to leave their pen in a panic frenzy? Jackass. Thank you. 
Yo, I'm grabbing my razor at the attic this weekend. We'll try it out. I'll let y'all know. These two images were allegedly taken on a farm in Montana on January 26, 2016 through the hunting scope of a rifle. You can see a cow suspended below a UFO, the head of the cow angled backwards. Dang, that's crazy. Let's get my green. Imagine if they show that to the, you know, anybody that's training. Like, okay, if you see one of these, it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Are those fireworks? What is that? I don't know. What is that? Am I? You see it? Right? I'm actually. Uh, yes. Okay. I do see it. Okay. It's getting weirder by the second. I know. It's like um, they're sticking around. We're gonna do some. Probably just drones. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, those are some good fireworks. This is what they look like. There are two of them. These are from our lab in Burnaby in British Columbia. From the outside, they look like giant black monoliths, big metal boxes, about 10 feet on a side, 12 feet tall. And they are powered, the, the, they have a fridge inside them, a refrigerator that cools these chips to almost absolute zero. Just a wisp, a fraction of a degree above absolute zero hundreds of times colder than interstellar space. Amongst the coldest and most isolated and extreme conditions that humans have ever been able to engineer. These fridges, interestingly enough, which are called pulse tube dilution refrigerators, have a thing called a pulse tube, which emits a sound roughly once per second, which sounds eerily like a heartbeat. So if you're sta you have the opportunity to stand next to one of these machines, it is an awe-inspiring thing, at least for me. It feels like an altar to an alien god. It, they really are impressive machines. At the heart of this big box is a tiny chip about the size of your thumbnail. And on this chip resides all of the wonder and magic that makes this thing go. In quantum mechanics, there's this concept that an, a, a, a thing can exist in two states which are mutually exclusive at the same time, quote unquote. So I'm using those words because the English language was developed before we had concepts to describe what these things actually are doing. Imagine that there really are parallel universes out there, and now imagine you have two that are exactly identical in every respect all the way out to the horizon, as far as we can see, down to the last little atomic detail of every single thing, with only one difference. And that's the value of a little thing called a qubit on this chip, which is a contraction of quantum bit. And that qubit is very much like a bit or a transistor in a conventional computer. It has two distinct physical states, which we call zero and one for bit. 
and a conventional computer, these are mutually exclusive. That device is either one or the other and never anything else. In a quantum computer, that device can be in this strange situation where these two parallel universes have a nexus, a point in space where they overlap. And when you increase the number of these devices, you, every time you add one of these qubits, you double the number of these parallel universes that you have access to until such time when you get to a chip like this, which is about 500 of these bits, you have something like 2 to the 500th power of these guys living in that chip. So the way I think about it is that the shadows of these parallel worlds overlap with ours. And if we're smart enough, we can dive into them and grab their resources and pull them back into ours to make an effect in our world. Now, this may sound very odd to you and bizarre, and in fact, I am using language that a normal theoretical physicist probably wouldn't use, but this is what I'm telling you is absolutely correct and in line with the way that these things actually work. The doubling uh, of the number of these qubits on the chip has happened once a year for the past nine years. So for the last nine years, every year, the number of these qubit devices has doubled and it will continue to do so. Okay, Dr. Strange, don't do it. But you can't do it again. That's gotta be fake. <laughs> They've gotta be controlling that. Ooh. Hey, she dodged that quick. Imagine the Fuba helmet they gotta make for that dome. Hey, so I know there's something that's gonna happen a little bit later, but what's on the other side of that fence? Is that like a gorilla or a werewolf? Like. Creep me out so bad. Love horror movies, but creepy girls. Mm-mm. Me no te pases de lanza, mira. Así era el pinche mozón. Stay away. Su puta madre. Está moviendo esa chingadera. 
Está aquí de volada. Como di que bajó. Yeah, no way. Y me paré. I have to go touch it. ¿Quién me explica esto? Got it. In that one video, they said that they found that uh, spaceship that was miles long, like hundreds of miles long. Maybe that's what that is. Thank you all so much for stopping by today. The price is right. I do have a couple more coming out this weekend. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment. Let us know. Let's keep that community growing. All right, peace.